Hello there, it's Catherine from my hillside garden. We're going to work on an update on our worm bin. So let's take a look. I've gotten some more suggestions about what I can do. So let's see. Okay, we still have guys climbing all over. We got them all over again. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to um, put in some more air holes. I've been a little hesitant about doing that because I worry about fruit flies getting in since I do keep the bin in the house, but I, I guess I'm not going to have much of a choice. Um, I know that the little white mites are okay, but it kind of looks like, did they all run away? I think I might have some red mites in here. If somebody could give me an answer as to if that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'd appreciate it. Let me bring you over because there's some very juvenile worms climbing up the side. Well, you can see the comparison between the two. The one on the right is a more adult, and the one on the left is more of a juvenile. So that's a good sign that there are different size worms in the bin. See, there's a lot of, and I don't think I can get in, you can see the little white mites running along the edge there. And I haven't seen, I saw them when I first opened the bin, the red mites. So if anyone has an answer for me, I'd appreciate it. Now, remember I put in all new bedding, so they have been around the top of the bin as well. But I didn't really feed last week. I put in the um, eggshell last week. So let's take a look over here. You know, with the white paper, I kind of think, there's another seed. Um, kind of think that mats down too much. I think I'm going to put in some more of the brown paper bag. And it does, they are going through the white. So it's not like they aren't. I just think perhaps the paper bags might be better. Yep, different sizes. And they have brought the, um, eggshell all through the bin. So let's see if we could find a clump of them. I'm going to go kind of deep. I think I'm into the egg carton now. Oh, there's that avocado. Let's take a look at that. So they're, they're working their way through. Let's where's that avocado. Oh, wow. We have that just about eaten out. There's the pit. I don't think it's going to do anything, though, because, like I said, this was in the freezer. So I don't think the avocado will do anything. But we'll see. We'll leave it there. But they are making pretty good. They're, they're eating that pretty good. Now, there was another ma Oh, here's the other mango. Okay. That one's still... They have a lot to go on that baby. A lot of mango left there. So, I don't know. Maybe I won't feed them again this week. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll just give them a little bit. Because they do have... There are quite a few in here. I don't want them to starve. Not that I think they will, but... Um, oh, look. They're, they're really way down in there now into the bottom underneath. So for anyone who does not have a worm bin, <laughs> who's thinking that maybe they'd like to try, I would encourage them to. It's a lot of fun, um, especially with children. I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, it's fun for adults too. So I know I've had a couple of people mention that they're considering doing worm bins. Sorry, it's so shaky. I'm trying not to. Um, I know there have been quite a few people who've mentioned that they're thinking of worm bins. 
And really, for a winter activity, it's really not a bad thing because it gives you something to do. It's a good way to get rid of your um, kitchen waste. It takes up a little bit of room in your freezer if you choose to do that, but um, you get really great uh, compost when you're done and you're using something that doesn't cost you any money. So for very little startup, you can start your own worm bin. You could use a container that you have already or an inexpensive one. Since wigglers tend to stay within the first couple of inches of the surface, you don't need a very deep one. This one is probably almost to the point of being too deep. Let's see. To the point of being too deep because it is already getting rather heavy for me. Because I do bring it over by the door to give it better light when I do the videos but there's an awful lot of good stuff in here. So I think I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a feed today. I'll do that off camera. And all those seeds, see now, remember, these are the seeds from that squash I put in here that had been in the freezer. So these seeds did not sprout. So I think I'm going to have to put more air holes in. I started out with that conversation and that got lost. Um, I'm going to put in some more air holes, probably just below where I have the air holes now, um, to give them more air, and hopefully that will stop their traveling so much. So thank you for joining me today. I hope maybe you learned something new, and I hope you'll give me a like, thumbs up, Subscribe to my channel. Join me on my journey here in the worm bin and in my garden. Have a great day. Happy garden.